What's up YouTube? Nicodemus from Droid Cheats again. In this video I'm going to show you how to take your Samsung Galaxy Tab 2 and install CyanogenMod 10.2 uh, that is based on the Jelly Bean 4.3 Android operating system and this ROM also comes with the Espresso 10 kernel. If you don't know what that is, it's a modded kernel to make your device run faster, basically. If you haven't done so already, your device needs to be rooted and have a custom recovery installed. I've got a video link in the description that will take you to my video showing you how to root and add Clockwork Mod Recovery on your Galaxy Tab 2. One nice thing about this ROM is the infrared blaster is working. So for those of you that like using the infrared blaster to do stuff on your television. Um, I've never used it, so I don't know what the appeal is, but a lot of people like it. This ROM has that available to you. Once you have your tablet rooted and Clockwork Mod Recovery installed, go to the link in the description for the thread xdadevelopers.com and user CodyF86 made this thread showing you how to install this ROM. And he is also the one who is building the source. So you click on this link right here. Now this is for the P3110 and the P3113. If you have a P3100 you would click on this link and download this ROM. But for those of you with a 3110 or the 3113 click on this link right here. It will take you to Cody F86's dev host site and these are advertisements. Right here is the download button. You click on that and download the file, save it. I already have it saved, so I'm going to go back. And the next thing you need to download is Google Apps, is right here. Click on that and download the Google Apps. Like, once again, this is the button you click on to actually download the file. If you want the tablet UI patch, which allows you to have your device in actual tablet. Uh, UI meaning where you hold it it's where you hold the tablet this way and the user interface will be set up properly for you to hold it in landscape mode and that is the tablet UI which actually believe it or not a lot of tablets don't come stock with so you would just click on this file here and this is just another file that you're going to flash through your custom recovery and you click right here and download this if you haven't done so already, using XDA developers uh, so much as I do, if you have not become a member, you should go ahead and take the time to register on their site and make sure you give him a thanks or anybody a thanks when you use one of their threads to download a ROM, learn something new about your device or whatever. Because these people are obviously doing this stuff for free and they're just out there trying to help people out. There's one more file you need to download. Click on the link in the description and it will take you to this page at the File One Cloud Storage. And this is the latest version of Clockwork Mod Recovery for the Galaxy Tab. If you see right here on the screen, it's the GTP3110. It's version 6.0.3.7. Okay, now that we've got all those files downloaded, we can close this window and go to our download folder where we downloaded everything. And if you haven't done so already, go to settings, about tablet, hit the build number seven times. Now you are a developer, hit back, now you have developer options and then you have to check USB debugging. Click OK. Android debugging is enabled. Allow it. Yes. And now over here on the computer you see we have the GTP3110 hooked up. Now like I told you I have the P3113 but I actually already have this ROM installed on my device so that's why it shows up as a P3110. But, like I said, the IR Blaster still works. So, we just need to scroll down and find the files we're looking for. And this is it right here. The CM10.2 Unofficial P3110. 
3110. Take that and drag it over to our 3110 internal storage. And I always put mine in the download in the download folder. You don't have to put them in that folder. That's just where I always put them and then I know when I go to my recovery I just go to the download folder to find the files I want to flash. Okay, while that's going I'm going to get the Google Apps, drag it over into the download folder, and also the tablet UI, but we need to transfer this one as well. It's the Clockwork Mod Recovery 6.0.3.7. Transfer that over to your device. Okay, now I have an external SD card, and I'm going to be placing it on on the SD card. You can t also place it in your download folder of your internal storage or anywhere else on there that you would like to put it. As long as you know where it's at, you'll be able to access it from Clockwork Mod. So I'm going to take it and put it on my SD card. I already have it there, so I don't need to replace it, but that's where you would put it. And that's it for the computer. The rest of the stuff we will do here on the device. Okay, over here on the Galaxy Tab, unplug it from your computer and we're going to place it in recovery mode by pressing volume up and the power button and holding those down together. Whether your device is, if your device is already on, you wait for it to turn off and turn back on. If it's already off, you just wait for it to turn on. After the Samsung Galaxy Tab 2 logo goes away, then we can let go and now it will boot up into recovery. It shows the logo screen again but it is booting up into the recovery. Okay, as you can see I already have version 6.0.3.7. If you already have that version you do not need to update. I had version 6.0.1 something and that's the one that you will have if you've watched my video on how to root and add Clockwork Mod to your Samsung Galaxy Tab. So the first thing we want to do is update Clockwork Mod. So you would click on Install Zip. And remember, volume up and volume down goes through the menu, and the power button selects. If it is in your internal storage, you would choose Zip from SD card. Then you would check, and you would click on Zero, because it would be under that directory. And then it would be under Downloads. I don't have any files there, because that's not where I place mine. Now if you place it on your external storage, it would say ext underscore storage if you are on the older version of Clockwork Mod. So I'm going to choose zip from storage slash SD card 1. That's going to mount my external storage. And here we have all these files. Now you'll see I have the Expresso 10 3.0.38. That is the kernel for this ROM. I wasn't sure at first, but you do not need to flash that file. You do not need to download that file. The ROM itself has the kernel already in it. So we need to go down here to the GTP3110 Clockwork Mod Recovery version 6.0.3.7 and we're going to install that first. You just hit the power button to select, power button again for yes. It will install that very quickly and before you do anything else you need to go back and you need to click click on advanced and click on reboot recovery. That will reboot our recovery with our newly updated clockwork mod. Okay, now that you have that done you should see up at the top version 6.0.3.7. If that did not work you need to probably go back and try to reflash it again. The next thing we're going to do is do wipe data factory reset. Now, if you have not backed up data that you have on your device, you need to do that now before you do the factory reset because it will erase everything under your data folder, which would be your music, pictures, anything like that. You can just transfer them to your computer, transfer them to an external SD card by using backup right here. You can back up to SD card right here and you've got other options. Now I don't need to back up anything and we can go ahead and do the data factory reset. Select yes. Okay, the next thing we're going to do 
click on advanced and we're going to wipe the Dalvik cache okay from there we need to go back and click on install zip and like I said if yours are internal you would choose zip from SD card mine are on the internal SD card so I choose this here storage slash SD card one hit the power button now the next thing we need to flash is the ROM itself CM 10.2 unofficial P3110 that is the ROM so we select that select yes and wait for this to flash it'll take about four minutes I think okay now that that's done click on install zip from SD card one again or wherever yours is and we're going to install the Google Apps these are both the same file but because I happen to just have two versions on here so but make sure yours is the Google Apps Jelly Bean 2013 813 signed okay now that that's done click on go back and we're going to reboot the system now you need to do it in this order do not go and flash the tablet UI file yet reboot the system if you flash the tablet UI now you will just be stuck in a boot loop once you go and boot up your system as you can see the cyanogen mod boot animation is not centered now it's centered I don't know why it does that at first but it does fix itself if it stays up here for more than a minute or two you are in a boot loop and that's when you need to go back and do a factory data reset however as you can see doing it in the steps exactly as I showed you you should be okay no f no boot loop and it is going to be booting up into cyanogenmod 10.2 Android 4.3 now as you can see on the this we actually have create your own cyanogen mod account which I have not done yet I'm going to skip that for now now it's asking you to set up your Google account of course I'm going to just get out of this stuff real quick finish that now we need to go back into recovery so volume up hit the power button I know this seems like a pain to do it this way you think you could just flash everything right off the bat trust me you don't want to do that definitely follow the steps exactly and you will be just fine okay back here in, in the clockwork mod recovery we have to go and install zip choose zip from SD card 1 and now we are going to install the tablet UI patch select it this takes just a second okay it is done we go back I'm actually going to wipe the Dalvik cache one more time is it needed probably not at this point but it's just something I do just to be safe wiping the Dalvik cache doesn't hurt anything it's just the Dalvik cache gets rebuilt once you boot up the system anyway and start using apps so we reboot the system now and if everything worked which it should we will boot up cyanogenmod 10.2 again only this time it will have the tablet UI okay swipe it to open it looks a little different now of course you'll be able to go and customize everything but when you turn it there you go now you have this stuff here on the bottom and it is set up as a tablet UI you've got your software buttons on the left side you got your menu right here all these normal settings and there's your settings and it's split correctly for the tablet UI here the next thing you want to do um, from this point go down to build number and click it seven times so you can open up developer options go ahead and enable USB debugging if you plan on using your device again with the computer to do to add other files and stuff um, from there go into developer options go over here to root access and change that to apps and ADB you have root access for your system now so that's it I hope you guys enjoyed the video 
and stay tuned for more videos on the Galaxy Tab 2 and many other devices. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I appreciate it. I will see you next time. Thank you.